up, you guys? It's George Straw here. Welcome back to another Tommy Hilfiger video. Today's video, it's gonna be insane, guys. I'm prepping my look. I'm curating my look for the Tommy Hilfiger Fall 2022 fashion show. It's a factory fashion show inspired by Andy Warhol, pop culture. It's about being experimental, fun, and fluid with fashion, and just like stepping outside your comfort zone. Just to sum up the whole experience, guys, I, George Straw, am invited to a Tommy Hilfiger fashion show. I like to say like this happened out of pure luck, but honestly, I kind of manifested this now for years. Years and years and years. And I'm super excited and extremely grateful. I was personally invited by Mr. Hilfiger himself. And this just, this feels surreal. I'm like, I still cannot grasp that this is reality. So point of today's video is basically me right now documenting the process between now, which today is August 27th, up until the actual fashion show, which is in New York City at the Skyline Drive-In on September the 11th. Right there is the official invite for the Tommy Hilfiger Fall Fashion Show. Oh my God, I'm shook right now, guys. I'm beyond words. I just opened it on my TikTok and shared the experience with you guys, but this is, this is surreal. So I'm like trying to collect myself right now and I'm, yeah. So this whole video is gonna basically be me documenting every step along the way up until the fashion show itself. Then I'm gonna dedicate an entire video of the fashion show. So stay tuned for that. I received a lot of packages, guys. I have pieces for my outfit, which I've been hunting far, wide, near, far, wherever the war, for the best Tommy figure pieces. And I wanna tell you, like, my look, the inspiration, I have a mood board. And um, it's just basically crazy. crazy. Some really hot trends right now for this year, for fall, is leather and denim. So I'm trying to incorporate both of those pieces within my look, along with something that you've already seen on Instagram. I've already shared these shoes right here. How beautiful are these? These are Tommy Hilfiger, Hilfiger Collection loafers. They're like multi-toned, this green right here, this bluish green is absolutely stunning and they're made in Italy. So I'm shook, check that out. The bottom is red. No, they're not Louboutins or red bottoms, but they're even better, they're Hilfiger shoes. And I'm just extremely, extremely shook. I was nervous because they're UK sizes and um, I'm a size like 10 in men's. So I was like, oh my God, is that gonna even fit me? I don't know, I took a risk and it paid off and they fit. This might even be my favorite piece for the show. I don't know yet, but I haven't opened up everything else just yet. So we're gonna actually get to that. Hopefully you're interested in this whole process of me taking you guys along, prepping for the fashion show. We're in my Tommy closet right now, my studio. I'm not giving you a tour just yet. And in fact, it's not even fully decorated at the moment. I still have my spring Tommy Hilfiger favorites, which I need to make a video like sharing those because they're iconic. And I really want to just like kind of open multiple pieces one-on-one -on -one and try them out with you guys because I still don't know whether or not these things are gonna fit me. I'm like ordering things online. And of course, like I wanna be unique and I don't wanna just get stuff that's off the rack in store. So I don't know if these things are gonna fit, if they're gonna work, if they're gonna match. It's gonna be the look and the sensation I'm going for. So let's, let's try on some stuff, guys. All right, guys, I have several packages here of stuff that is for my outfit, my look, whatever you want to call it, for the show. And I've not tried on anything yet aside from the beautiful shoes. So we have those, which, you know, keep that in mind. Like, that's going to be a statement piece. And these are, this is my top is in this box. And this is the blazer. And this is the pants. So... The pants are not from Tom Hilfiger. I'm just gonna say that right now, they're from a brand called Insermin something. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it was kind of like a trendy brand and I wanted leather pants. I could not find any Tom Hilfiger leather pants for men at all. So um, first and foremost, to be sustainable, I didn't actually get leather, I got leather. And um, yeah, that's what's in here. So we're gonna open up that, I feel like, in a moment, I kind of want to open up the blazer first just to make sure it fits. So with the blazer, I want it to be oversized. And like oversized blazers are so like in for this season and winter. And uh, I wanted a Tom Hilfiger one. So, oh my goodness, it is navy blue. 
Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh my goodness. My lord, look at those buttons. You have the Tommy Hilfiger crest right there. I love this blue stripe. I'm hoping this fits. I know it's gonna be a little big, but again, like being big is the complete goal. I want it to be oversized and kind of just like slouchy and uh, fun. So I don't want it to be like form, you know, form fit and like looking all tight. So what's going on, Bootsy? We got an audience here. Oh my God. This is perfect. Oh, this is literally, this is perfect. <gasps> I'm obsessed. I'm gonna wear this a lot. Look at the buttons on the sleeve. Like this is, this is a luxury blazer. Wow. So the goal with this, what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna get a customized House of Hilfiger script on the back. I originally wanted to do like an airbrushed look, kind of like very Y2K 90s style. But the more that I thought about it, the more I was like, if I have it created like a stitching, that would be a lot more classy. And that's more my brand, um, I'd say. So I think I'm leaning more towards a stitching type of look. And I might, I'm debating on doing it this green color to make it stick out. So either the green or the red, I'm probably gonna do. I had to grab scissors. So we're gonna open up what I ordered from TommyHilfiger.com. And what is in here, guys, is something that I literally am taking a shot at the, shot in the dark, shot at the dark, shot in the dark. Guys, I'm experimenting with this piece. This is something that is making me step way outside my comfort zone. And I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if I'm gonna feel confident in it or if it's just gonna be like something that I'm gonna have to say no, pass. Um, either way, again, this show is about just being experimental. So I don't wanna just go boring and wearing a blazer and nice pressed pants and just looking all dapper, which is a great look, but not for this show, are you kidding me? So. I ordered something a little extra in here, which I guess maybe, maybe I'll show that to you first. I got, I got this Tom Hilfiger hat, and I figured this fedora is beautiful for the fall. I love like a big hat for the fall. And um, this was on sale for like 20 some dollars, and I couldn't say no. Let me, I'm gonna open it. Let's, let's check this out, actually. Sorry for the detour on the, the look, but, oh, oh my God. So it says Tommy Hilfiger all the way around. We have this beautiful, beautiful color. I'm obsessed with this color right here. And this is the tag in case you want to see the tag. But this was actually from the women's section. And we all know, like, I could rock whatever the heck I want to rock. So I got this. I feel like this, you could wear this anytime. But specifically, I love big hats for the fall. I... I love it. I love it. Moment of truth, guys. The moment of truth. This is the shirt that I'm going to be wearing underneath the blazer for the look. This is it. Um, it is denim. It is from the women's section. Again, that's like why I found the hat because I was shopping the women's uh, side of the website. And this is a Tommy jeans piece. So, like I said, denim is really hot for this fall, this winter, and I want to incorporate leather and denim. So that's what I'm doing with this piece right here. Now this is a crop top. This is a Tommy jeans, jean crop top. I need to paint the picture correctly, so let's try it on. Well, what do we think? What do we, are you getting the vibe? It's very edgy, it's very just outside my comfort zone. Obviously, I'm still not sure how I feel about this, but this is a size medium. It's quite tight, but I didn't want it to be baggy. I want this to be underneath. Since we're gonna have a oversized blazer, I wanted this to be fit. So let's try on the blazer too while we're at it. Might as well. I'm so happy to see this coming together. This is nuts. What do we think? Honest thoughts, honest opinion. Do we like it? Is it cool? Is it fun? I need to paint the full picture, so we're gonna try on the pants too. 
This is the brand I was talking about in Serum. Um, I'm not sure still if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but these are the, this is this is the brand. Um, I think they're actually based out of somewhere in China. Not too sure. I believe that's where they said they were from. And I'm praying that these fit because again, we ordered online and I have no clue if you know. Oh. Whoa. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. I, 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 I don't know how I feel just yet, so let me put them on. These are the pants. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not too sure how I feel about the coffee colored pants. Now, the top, this, this part right here, I'm loving. The pants, although they're cool, I don't know if they're supposed to be like higher waisted, but they don't fit me like that because I think they were size 32 and I'm not a size 32. I'm really gonna have to sleep on this one to be honest with you. I'm glad that I received them like in advance because I'm not sure if these pants are it. Exciting just came in the mail and I'm super excited to share this because I feel like it's really gonna kind of complete my look a lot. So I mentioned before how the pants are not Tommy Hilfiger. Um, unfortunately, I cannot find any leather Tommy Hilfiger men's pants um, or women's that would possibly fit me because trust me, I would have tried, but um, there was nothing anywhere. So um, I searched elsewhere, you know, I got these. So this is like a coffee colored pan, as you know. Um, now there's nothing significant on here that looks Tommy Hilfiger-esque. So I'm trying to flip these to give the Tommy vibe. They were super affordable, so I really don't care if I'm gonna like tailor them and, you know, make them mine. So what I'm doing, like I said, I think I mentioned this before, I'm not sure, but I'm making the button a Tommy Hilfiger button just to actually match my blazer. So what I have here is a button. Let me grab the blazer. So the blazer that I'm wearing for the outfit has these beautiful, beautiful buttons on here. I'm not sure if that's focusing, but basically I purchased a button that has the same aesthetic. Tommy Hilfiger um, dropped a decent amount of money just for a single button. This is how dedicated I am. I'm running the muck, guys. I'm running a freaking muck. The fashion show is in about six days. So I've literally been like crunching in so much to get this look complete. And um, I've been going crazy. I've been going a little crazy, not gonna lie. I just wanna make sure everything is like super perfect. So I ordered this off of eBay and there was like a pack of, I believe it was like 10 or so buttons. I only needed one. So luckily the person cut me a deal. I got a single button for like, I think it was $12. That is nuts guys. That is, I know I'm crazy, but I feel like when we see it, you'll understand like why I took this route. So it's packaged very, very secure. I appreciate that. Holy crap, what the heck? This is nuts. All right, here we go. This is a box. Oh, <laughs> yes. That is the Tommy Hilfiger button that we need. That is gonna go on the pants, complete the look, tie the pants, the denim shirt, and the blazer together and make it one cohesive uh, statement, right? On a good note, this is actually bigger than I was hoping because I was like a little worried after ordering it. Uh, I didn't check the dimensions, but wow. Oh my God, that is stunning. Sorry, I had it upside down. There we go. There's the real look right there, but this is the exact same as the buttons on the blazer, right? Pretty much oh, the exact same. We have a match. So just to give you guys a visual in case you can't, you know, get the vibe, the button's gonna go in the pants like this and literally match the blazer. Oh my God. Oh my, I have not booked it out of the gym as fast as I just did ever. Um, You guys, I just received an official invite to be in the Tommy Hilfiger 2022 fall fashion show experience. This is insane. I'm so excited right now. Oh my, I literally almost dropped a weight on myself. I was like 
in the middle of working out and I was going through my emails and I received an email right here. And um, this is insane. This is insane. This is gonna change the whole game in this vlog. So I hope you guys are ready for this journey. I don't even know if I'm ready for this journey. This is so crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> this is my dream come true, guys. This is my dream come true. 